the vision for the season. The vision why we are amassed tonight. We thank you.
alarmed with what happened. We are alarmed with the faith to come. We are alarmed with the one that sends us not. to be in God's presence and I believe our lives will not remain the same in Jesus name I appreciate and celebrate all of us to be able to celebrate yourself in that time you celebrate yourself I also celebrate and appreciate those who name us online on Facebook and YouTube to celebrate our followers and I believe that the same impact that is felt here will be felt in your life that I'm sure of without any doubt in the name of Jesus. If I want us to celebrate the man of God, Pastor John, to celebrate the man of God, God bless you. Tonight we'll be continuing our studies, keys to restoring lost encounters, part 2B. And today we're going to be looking at a very sensitive topic. I want us to be focused because something will change in your life. But whether you are here or you are following on, something will change in your life. Something will drop in your life tonight. Because tonight the Lord made it on my spirit to make a release of the mantle to undo the destiny of his people, to make release of the mantle, to activate something in the life of the people, as many as those that believe. Hallelujah. Because it's only those that believe that will be. It's only those that are connected that will connect. If a man does not connect, he can never connect. One thing I have noticed with the mantle is that the mantle is not by proximity. The mantle comes by, the mantle answers by connectivity. I do not say many people that are very close to great men of God, but their life, there's nothing to write them about. Why? Because the mantle, the owner does not work by how close you are to a man of God. It's not by proximity. It works by connectivity. They are close, but they are not connected. The same person will be the first one that will kill the man of God. The same person will be the first person that will talk negative to the man of God. The same person is the one that is familiar with the vessel. And then the man becomes familiar with the vessel. The virtue in the vessel cannot have what you want. But tonight I believe that something will change upon the life of somebody right now. We believe that shall the Lord is Amen. Let's look at our uncle scripture, Second Kings. We give you the praise, Lord. Thank you for the gift of your presence. Second Kings 6 from the smart. Let's go there quickly. Look <laughs> at the highest praise. Oh, the highest praise. For your mother, your father, your mother, your father, your mother, from verse 1. And the source of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Judah, and take thanks every man a thee, and let us make, make us a place there where we may dwell. 
and he answered, go away. And the man said, be content, I paid you. Let's jump to the side. But as one was spreading the beam, the ass head fell into the water. And he cried and said, Alas, Master, for it was paid. And the man of God said, Where shall it? And he showed him the place. And he cut down the stick and cast it to them. And the iron did sweep. Therefore he said, Take it up, he, and put out his hand and took it. The Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles 20, from verse 20. Looking you the highest The 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 Twenty from the strength, and the Bible says, and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tikkun. And as they went forth, the rest of us came and sat nearly all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. The name of the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. The name of his prophets, so shall ye prosper. The Lord bless the reading of his word. Tonight we are looking at how to restore lost encounters. Keys to restoring lost encounters. We are looking at the key of a prophetic cover. A man without a cover can never recover. A man without a cover is vulnerable to anything at all. The question is, what is a prophetic cover? I'm going to be telling us some stories tonight. Life experiences in my small work with God. It's a small world because I've not even started yet. What God is showing me that He wants us to do, we are not happy. So it's a small work with God. I'm going to be sharing us some life experience, not to blow any iron, but just to elucidate the point. What is a prophetic cover? Or what is your prophetic cover? The prophetic cover is a spiritual shield that watches over your life. The reason why many people started well and ended up in mess is because there is no cover over their life. Listen to what I'm teaching us to If you love your life and if you want to last. The reason why many people started firefully but ended up disasterfully is because they lack cover. Any Christian that is not accountable as said it before is not reliable. Any Christian at all, any minister at all that is not accountable is not reliable. So when a man lacks the lacks a cover, that man can never go any go far because your fed, your fat is your feather. When a man has a cover, that man flies with ease. What will take that man months or years to achieve can be achieved within months. Why? Because this one is under a cover. Hear me? One of the easiest ways to work with God is to have a cover. This is like your reference point. Which is like your protective shield. Which is like your your card. The reason why we see people rise and fall. Today they are on the chart to know they are nowhere to, to be found. 
They see people started genuinely, but yet later in life, they go to the devil for power. It's because there's a lack of spiritual cover, of prophetic cover. Hear me? It is a day to be under cover. It is a day to be under authority. It's not a loss at all. I've been under cover right from the day I gave my life to Christ up to today. And that will be up to eternity. Why? Because a man, a man does not have anybody to account to. That is the man that has found his life for disaster. That is the woman that has found her life for disaster. Hallelujah. What are the effects of a prophetic cover upon our lives? What are the effects of a prophetic cover upon our life? Number one, it gives us access to more. It gives us access to more. More of God. Not just more of the anointing perfect. But when a man is under a prophetic cover, when a man is connected to a mountain, it gives that man access to more. And then in Tilemon 13, the Lord gave me an instruction to submit under evangelism. And then that submission, and that, but it repeated to that, to that instruction. Catashuted my life, catashuted my dimensions, catashuted me into another way, another dimension we call. Because it was an encounter that I could not recover from. Hallelujah. So when a man is connected to a cover, such a man gets access to the law of God. Really? A man cannot be a vessel alone without vessel of the virtue, without the virtue touching that man. That is why it is an error if you are a carrier anointing but that anointing is not working for you it is working for others but it cannot work for you i will explain that as i came before very very frustrating <laughs> in the early days of god go to the hospital see all matter of miracles but then i will come back i will be stranded empty pocket i wonder i think i think the anointing that can heal can also bring forth favor the anointing that can heal can also make 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 a servant of God not to be stranded and frustrated. I say, Lord, change this story. That is how the doors open. So a man cannot be operating under a particular anointing. The anointing is working for other people, but that anointing does not work for such a man. So the first, the, the virtue does not only work as a virtue, it also has impact on the vessel. Because the water cannot pass through pipe without touching the pipe. It must literally rub on the pipe. So when you are the carrier of an unction, ensure that that unction also works for you. And the one day when I was back in my undergraduate days, John John, I want to be preserved. Went to the hospital one day, I said, I want to donate blood. They said, okay. They have to do you, they have to do, they have to check the blood, do all manner of analysis on the blood before it can be transfused on another patient. Okay, they will put it in the blood bank before they can transfuse it. Then, the family, the, the results come out. And the last one, he said, I said, you have hepatitis B. That was my first time of hearing hepatitis B. I said, what is hepatitis B? He said, no, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Just come. That was on top. He said, come on Monday. I will give you some drugs. And then you will see that the table will clear up. I said, leave. In my mind, I said, leave. Come. <laughs> that was the last time that I saw him. 
altar as the God history in my life. I said, well, he said, you remember you prayed for me when we were serving, but also time. I said, okay, thank God for that. He said, but sir, I have a problem. I said, what is that? He said, I'm married for some years now. But this, after that marriage, it has been miscarried by one of the other miscarried and miscarried of the miscarried. I said, what? I said, any time she took her, call me. Any time she got pregnant, call me. Let me test it and tell her that I will take that baby again. And then she was pregnant, he called. Keep on the phone. Pray for her. I said, Madam, this baby will stay. This baby will not die. This cabbage is not the portion of this baby. She said, Amen. And then, then, then in the when it is seven months, you should call me again. And it was the seventh month it called. She made proper declaration. Before the thing was not even the seven months to just go. And then one day he called, he said, Sir, my wife just gave birth. I said, well, he said, just what she gave them. I said, well, he said, I do. <laughs> because why? They got connected to a mantle. When you are connected to a mantle, hear me, you cannot just be wasted like a chicken. And I declare upon everyone sitting here and everyone putting online, associated with this same mantle, you shall not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, let it be shout the loudest. Amen. The prophetic cover provokes divine preservation. Number three, what are the effects of the prophetic cover? It arrests stagnation. It arrests stagnation. That means a man being stagnated. A man thinks he can manipulate That stagnation can be arrested by the cover so the woman is connected to. Hear me? One day a lady told me. She said, Sir, I just finished my nursing school. I don't have license yet. But I need a job. I just read the application. And I want to go and apply in Abit. I'm at the Bedouin University teaching us. I said, What? She, I said, Are you? She said, I said, I'm holding, I'm holding that application later now. I want you to declare. <laughs> I said, Okay. Make three part declarations. Go and submit. Then the lady went and submitted. The evening of that day, she called. I mean, the next day, she called. He said, I was given a permanent letter. I said, without license, she said, yes. But that was oh, long ago. I can't do that now. Why? Because that another one, 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 that was, because maturity has entered, so you can't tell that kind of thing now. Without license. Uh, because she needed that money that time, because out of that money, she sent a prophet of me. Are you getting me? <laughs> Hallelujah. But I declare upon the open life represented here anything that looks like a stagnation in your life, in your destiny. This same mantle is setting it on fire. You put it on show the loudness, amen. You put it on show the loudness, amen. And the lady the other day told me, she said, today will be more story. Just to elucidate the point, not to draw any error, but to let us know that there's a call that is at work in our lives. And she said she was the first person to go to the university in her family. Every time she's going to the university, right from the beginning, there have been battles. Every time it is close to a damn battle, she'll call, we pray. Call, play, call, play. It was later I got to know. I was thinking she was even in the College of Education. It was later I got to know that this one was even in the university. And that close to graduating, she called and said, Sir, I'm preparing for exams now. But that same thing, close to exams, 
something just needs to come and disturb us. Pray for her, make bitter declarations. And then she said, her exams were successful. That was like a final exam. Final exam. And at this moment, I believe she's doing a project now. Somebody that nobody has come to the university in the family. And the devil wanted her not to go through. But a connection to a cover gave her access to that thing. Beloved, anything that looks like a stagnation in your family, in your father's house, in your lineage, in your genealogy, those feeling and lying, those present here, yeah, I declare that that stagnation is arrested by fire. You believe that shout the loudest, Amen. What are the effects of the prophetic cover? Number four, it gives you victory over the agenda of the devil. When a man is under a cover, that man is a victor. I mean, the enemies will be fighting. But because of the higher grace you are under, that enemy cannot penetrate. When man is under cover, the enemies will come to attack. But because of the place that person is connected to, they will never succeed. It is not bad for the devil to fight. It is only bad for the devil to succeed. And now the most agenda the devil will not stand in your life. And the one young man called me the other day. This one was somebody they did undergraduate together. He said, sir, my brother is studying pharmacy in school. He said, but if I see the rest, you run mad. He said, you, I've told him about you before. And he said, you want, he said, you want you to pray for him. I said, give him my number. And the young man called studying pharmacy is really made at this early stage that's on the level to on the level they want to make him to run mad the devil just wants that young man to run mad pray for him make brutal declaration today that young man has finished his internship he has done his NYSC and he has gotten a job as a pharmacist any time there's progress here that young man will be among the first person to serve his own support for prison. But the agenda of the devil was to make this young man irrelevant in life. Was to make this young man, this young man, become a non-entity in life. Somebody say power. Power. Power is very good. Because if you are a Christian and you, and you don't carry power, you are just living you are still, you are still, you are just, you are making something. Because when power is at work in the life of a man, what belongs to that man will fall to that man rightfully. And then, at the end of my master, one guy just wanted to tell me. I told him, I told him, after my examiner, I was gone already. And then this guy was, he just wants to frustrate. One night I woke up. I had to speak your life. I said, the you will die. <laughs> you go, I said, as I'm going to your office tomorrow, if you don't reduce my work, I started looking at the speaker, I was blasting the talks. I said, if you don't sign this work today, you are dead. Then one hour later, you go, do your paper. Now I'm going to sign it. <laughs> you go, die. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because what a man, I think there's no way the power cannot answer for you. Whether in your academics, whether in your place of work, whether in your place of business, when you carry the power, it must answer. Hallelujah. And then, then I must, I've shared this story with her before. There is service here. They told us about NYSC, CBN, and what? And then, I don't even know the meaning of that thing. That was my first time. I said, let me just try my luck and make a proposal. Then you take it to the state capital, take it to CBS there, and go and submit. That was how I went to Brunicobi to go and submit. So let me just show my luck. 
And then a man that I was to submit to was from the other religion. I have never met him before. And he looked at me and he said, Idoko, this one you have to submit. You cannot, you cannot compete with other people. Other people that submitted something more than you. You cannot commit, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot compete with them. He said, wait. And he printed out the marker scheme for that thing. And they gave me, he said, don't give anybody you. If you give anybody, I'll be angry with you. I said, okay, sir. And as I went back and I prepared my proposal exactly according to the marking scheme. And then I went to ask him, he said, hey, this is the, this is the main one. I told the marking scheme, he said, keep it. And then after some months, that time, it was hard to say, I finished, I forgot that I ever applied for something, I was already in police state. And then they called me one day, they said, are, are you in Bukami I said, yes. He said, do you remember this? I was like, yeah, he said, they said, yes. They said, send your account number. That time, they were even looking for money. <laughs> and that was, that was how some money dropped in, in some sales. Why? Because God favored a man. It not me, those that, no, those of us that are waiting for our uncles to help us. Most of times, it's even people that don't know you from anywhere. Anywhere, look at it very well. Anywhere that will not demand anything from you. Those are people that will help you. If, if you are looking at your uncle, your uncle will disappoint you. When my uncle, if my uncle disappoints anyone, then I won't cry. My father too will cry. Well, there's no disappointment that's painful like the disappointment of the world. And then God used somebody that was that was not related from anywhere to become ever. When you look unto God as your help, that is when God will raise men to help you. The way you look unto your uncles or your aunties, you continue to experience disappointment in life. Hallelujah. But God will raise help us. In the name of Jesus, we need a shout the Lord. Amen. Now listen to this point very well. How can how to benefit from the prophetic cover? I just showed us the effect of the prophetic cover. The effect of the mantle over a man's life, or the effect of a man being connected to the mantle. Now, we are looking at how can I benefit from my prophetic cover? How can you benefit from a prophetic cover? Number one, believe in the prophetic cover. Believe in the prophetic cover. I started by saying that the anointing does not work for people by proximity, but it's still close to a man of God. But it works by connectivity. You can see people, you can never receive from a mantle you don't believe in. You can see people that are close to ministers, but their life is not, is not being impacted by the oil that minister carries. Why? Because it is not by proximity, proximity. it is by connectivity. I distance myself from people that don't believe in what I carry. It's not pride, it's not arrogance. And God said, and Dr. Paul and I can say, it is, it is stupidity not to be conscious of what you carry, not humility. That means you are not knowing what you carry, not conscious of what you carry. It's stupidity, not humility. If you know what you carry, that thing will answer for you at any time. So I distance myself from people I know that don't believe in what I carry. Why? Because I cannot help them. Jesus never did any miracle in his own town in Jerusalem. Because the people never believe in what he carried. But the same Jesus did several miracles. In other those people following running after people that don't believe. Hallelujah. Don't, don't run, don't struggle running after people 
If I don't believe in you, you are, you are of no use to them. You cannot help them. No matter what you do, you will not help them. No matter what you do, you cannot help them, sir. You cannot help them, ma. Because if somebody does not believe in you, there's no other that they can receive from what you carry. Hallelujah. Are you talking something? And I declare I'll put as many as those that I'm not here for every point. I'm here for those that believe in what I can. I am here for those that believe in this mantle. As many as those that believe in this mantle, following online and present here. Tonight this mantle will work for you. Tonight this same mantle will work for you. You believe that shout the loudest in me. You believe that shout the loudest in me. How to benefit from your prophetic cover. Number two. Value your prophetic cover. Value your prophetic cover. Any cover you don't value can never envalue your life. Any cover you don't value can never have value. To your life. But when a man believes in the cover, values the cover, values the the cover, the mantle she is connected to or is connected to, that is when that mantle will work for that person. I'm not moved by people walk, living around or walking in pretense. I'm moved with people that value what you can. Hallelujah. What you value is what will envelope your life. We value your life. Anything you don't value can never have value to you. Hallelujah. All to benefit from the prophetic cover. Number three. Give to your prophetic cover. Give to your prophetic cover. Hallelujah. What a man can give to the mantle is connected to that the mantle opens up for that man. And anytime I give to my father and the Lord, it may not be much, but just little help and little little amount of money. It says multiply blessings. And that's more I see more doors open for me. Why? Because I gave to the cover I'm connected to. But you see people that they will come to church on Sunday, they want to be blessed, but they will come after service, they will pass pastor. And that same person wants to be blessed by the same mantle. I have a terrible story of, I'm not talking about the fact that, okay, it is wrong to put welfare in church. No. Welfare is not wrong. But this one, after service, that person will come and pass pastor. And that person has to be. I have a terrible story. The pastor will leave from Guadalajara down to a far place to go and preach. This Sunday service. After service, people, members will come. The other they've given up, they will come and collect the offering that they want transport. So pastor and his wife will go back empty. They, they will come again. The next Sunday they will give it. And this people will have to be blessed by God. And then pastor became frustrated and just forget about them. But they want to be blessed. I mean, you keep offering and you go back to collect the offering in the form of transport. I'm not talking that, I'm not saying that there's no place of welfare in the house of God. But if somebody wants to be blessed by a cover, it's a place of sacrifice. I, I work under a prophetic ministry for nine years. There's no work without salary for a day, without collecting money for one day. No penny at all. Just want to serve. And the service made that oil to roll on me. But today we have people that they are just coming to start, to start under the ministry, start under the church, start under the ministry. But they want they, 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 the ministry may not be standing where they are, but they want to be paid. Pastor, I'm not the tight today. Show us love from tight. And so the pastor wants to be blessed. Any 
any man God you cannot give to, any power you cannot give to, you are not genuinely connected. I'm not, I'm not after your money. Hallelujah. Anybody who had ever taxed you before, please be taken care. You are, you are in the house of God. I came, I called you and I taxed you. Send me urgent to pay. Send me urgent to pay. Any other person, please raise your hand up. I want to be sure of what I'm saying. They are, not after, they are teaching you the true principle that will help you to be blessed. I'm not talking about only here and all. But in our only way you find yourself, just know that any man God that you cannot give to, you are not genuinely connected to. Any man God at all. You are pretending I am your son, I am your daughter, I am this, I am. And you cannot get to that same mantle. You are not genuinely connected. And that mantle cannot open doors for you. Doors to be open. And to you that a mantle, you must be ready to give. Hallelujah. How can I benefit? How can you benefit from a prophetic mantle? A prophetic cover. The last and the final point. Number four. Pray for your prophetic cover. Pray for your prophetic cover. Lord, I commit our pastor, I commit our minister, I commit our prophet, I commit our evangelist, I commit our apostle to heavenly hands. Keep in the house. Sustain it as you are praying for your prophetic cover. That is our God. God is also making way for you to forge ahead in life and in destiny. This mantle will work for you tonight. As many as stores that believe, one major assignment God gave me tonight is to activate the mantle upon the life of the people. And I believe that this same mantle will answer for you tonight. As many as those that believe, you believe I shout the loudest, Amen. That the first is people, people outside are deceiving. And I know some of us will see that you don't want to testify. That same testimony will be massively activated upon your life of the night. You believe I shout the loudest, Amen. Carry me Lord. Let me be the one who is the one who is the one who is the 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 the
have to do the major assignment in this court. Instead of me to do it now. And that is to release the man to work and fight the life of the people. Both those present here and those following are mine. Hear me. I do not call myself. One thing I told God is that if you were the one that called me, then prove yourself mighty in my life. I think that any day I will preach just to feed, I will leave your work and go and carry my certificate. Thank God I went to school. I will focus. It's better for me to focus on my certificate and do my work than to be deceiving people about. And then, that was a, an agreement to me like a five years back. And I've not seen God fail me. I did not come. My dream was never to be a pastor. My mother is My dream was never to be a pastor. Never to handle my people. My dream was to be a medical doctor and that was all. But then God took over the ambition with his calling. And I still stand if it is God that called me. I declare upon as many as those, take the prayers of everywhere you are, as many as those that believe on this same mantle, following my mind, listening to us on YouTube, watching us on Facebook, I'm present here. I declare in the name of Jesus that this same mantle will answer to you. Every battle in your life from today, that battle is handled by this mantle. As many as us are listening to us from your homes, from your houses, and you believe in this same mantle. Everything not of God that is working in your life. Everything not of God in your life. From today, that thing is arrested. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that this is to reproach. From your father's house, from your mother's house. I stand under the mantle of you that call me. Let the letter of the body 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 Every negative pattern in your father's house, every negative pattern in your mother's house, I declare in the name of Jesus, from tonight that pattern is arrested. Somebody hold on fire. And above all, I told God many years ago, I said the mantle that can heal can also draw people. Lift the tears of me. I prophesy, I declare upon everyone connected as a sender to this mantle. That devil that wants you to be wretched has not been born. That devil that wants you to be stagnated has not been born. If I just show me the spirit of wretched, somebody just stranded pushing me by one. No, no, I have nothing to show. That's the spirit of wretched. I declare under this same mantle, I'm connected to fathers that are not stranded. I'm connected to fathers that one day money has not made them to leave ministry. And I declare, I stand under that same mantle to declare that you shall not be stranded in life. You will not be stranded in destiny. You will not be stranded in your works of your works. In the name of Jesus. You shall break limit in your father's house that nobody has broken. You shall break limit in your mother's house that nobody has broken. What nobody has achieved in your father's house, you will do the world to achieve it. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you are first or second born, last born or third born. 
I stand upon the mantle at work in this commission to declare that you shall make way in life. And I declare your destiny shall not be stranded. Your destiny shall not be frustrated. Your destiny shall not be wasted. And I put authority over the spell of a family day. Nobody adopted to this mantle can die like a chicken. And I declare you shall not be wasted like a chicken. You may know that Jesus and your power to the people in your father's house, to the people in your mother's house, to are wasted by fire. Somebody hold that fire. Somebody hold that fire. Somebody hold that fire.